It's a rainy, drizzly day, but you know what? Even the earth needs to get washed too, and that means lots of new growth. The smell of spring is in the air, one of my favorite times, and I thought, why not get out with my K5 Blazer here and have a good time in the backyard trail park? Look at this. I've already been out bumping it around a little bit, having a good time. If you guys are viewers of my show, you'll notice that I actually uh, chomped down on those Kryptons. I did remove every second lug pattern, so it's more of a, a paddle tire for the backyard trail park. All I did was take some flush cutters and cut out every second lug pattern, and that was able to, you can see from the original to the new one now, this gives me a lot more grip. These are 1.9 size tires. This truck was an RC four-wheel drive trail finder too, if you're interested. Uh, but uh, it, it, this is an aftermarket hard body that, uh, that I had a long time ago. Shout out to Bill who helped me weather this body. I also went in with a Dremel and made sure to put in the proper rust from the Canadian salt on the road. There's holes all the way through it, but it's an absolutely beautiful truck. Let's get it on the go. Yeah! Back when I hit a billion views, baby. Trying to keep it on the down low scale crawl. If I was really, it's like I stole my dad's truck and I'm out for a, a day of wheeling with my buddies. <laughs> I do not encourage doing that, doing that though. <laughs> Get your own truck. Get a job and a haircut. <laughs> There's that suspension in the back looking good. Kind of funny looking with Toyota axles on it. Traxxas does make a portal axle Chevy. I'll leave a link to that on Amazon if you want to check it out in the video description box. See if I can make it up this without hanging up. Dude, it's like vertical. Those new tires, look at that, trying to chew. I'm going to turn into it, get that conform. A little bit of wheel speed. Now I've made it extra slick. More wheel speed. A little wiggle on the tire. One-handed. Yeah! Oh! Uh, uh, the stall was inevitable. Start it up. Oh. Electrics. There you go, there you go. I don't know how you're going to get out of that, though. <laughs> A lot of people say, why don't you get a, a big full-size truck and do this yourself instead of just doing it with toys? And uh, I say even full-size trucks are toys. And uh, I love wheeling, whether it be in one-tenth scale or in full-size. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's like one of those old farm trucks you see around Alberta here. Except the wheels are a little bit too shiny for the farmers I know. There we go. Let's go into this pit right here. There's the sound box in the back. Loping along. Yeah. So when I made this course, I made these pits just long enough to hold the truck before it has to actually come out again. Slow torque, turning the tire for hookup. There you go. I wanna know right now, do you actually own a full size uh, 4x4 as well as an RC? And if so, post it up in the comments section to let other people know that this is not a strange thing. There are actually thousands of people thousands and thousands of people that are actually outdoors enjoying trailing together well during social distancing it used to be different but this is a great pastime Let's see if we can get up the hill here there's a fairly large hill should I add some wheel speed No problem at all. Yes. No problem. Straight down. <laughs> Ooh, got 
got myself into a tight spot here. Able to work my way out though. We got the slippery side hill here. Because my tires are caked full of mud right now. Oh nice, it turned on a dime. This is all sideways. I think we're in big trouble here. Yeah, we gotta back it out. Oh, slipping a gear. Okay, let's try to take this on the high side. Oh yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> nice job. I cannot believe that was able to hang on. I thought we were going over for sure. Let's do an abrupt turn and actually do the tunnel. We have not done that in a very long time. Well, as an abrupt turn as we can make with a truck like this. Look at that. I should make some whoa, wheel wells for it. I do have some, but uh, I also like seeing everything the truck is doing. Look at this. When was the last time we looked in here? Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Oh, I slipped a gear there. This is why I love headlights. It just gives it such a cool scale appearance. Something's hanging him up. Oh, he's free. Over the pylon. Yeah. Right to the gate. Yeah, you made it. <laughs> this is normally where I start. Onto the scalloped rock. Over to the seesaw through the shock towers. Oh yeah. We'll end it on the other side of this, but check it out. I gotta make sure to ride this exactly perfect. And you'll see the counterweight, look at that, on the seesaw is moving itself. Oh, very dangerous. Let's keep her going, yeah. Oh, I'm hung up. Is it gonna flip me? Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm doomed. I can't get back up on here. This is one of those added features that I just put in. This is a ramp with only slippery things on it. <laughs> Why would you torture yourself like this? I just love watching these machines work. Almost got spit off the edge there. Oh, I'm suffering. Oh yeah! Oh no! Oh, that sounded bad. <laughs> That's the beauty of these old Chevys though, you know? They can take a beating and keep on going. Look at that, I put the hood back on, put the gun back in the back, in the back, where's my, oh the, there they are. Start this puppy up. Okay guys, that's it. That's, I'm gonna go in, dry off, get myself something warm to drink. Be prepared, if you wanna get into this hobby, it's gonna cost you quite a bit. This truck here, valued probably around $600. The reason I say that, I've seen a lot of fake ads online, a lot of fake ads on Facebook and Instagram, things offering trucks like this for way less. You kinda gotta get what you pay for. Good luck guys, and we'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Ha <laughs> ha!